find the HCF of 74 and 20 using Euclid's division algorithm. So this would be our A. Let's take the bigger value as A and the smaller value as B. And we have to start applying Euclid's division lemma until the remainder is zero. Let me actually show you how this is done. And, and we can find HCF of any two given numbers using Euclid's division algorithm. So the lemma, the Euclid's division lemma says that for any two positive integers a and b, we can always write it as a equals to b times q plus of r. a would be equals to b times q plus r, where r would be greater than or equal to zero, but less than b. So here our a is 74, b is 20. So how many steps should we take that is 20 units long such that we can reach nearby 74 but less than that. So 23s are 60, 24s are 80. So let's take three steps. So this would help us land at 60 and plus if we would take 14 more units, if we would add 14 more units, we would reach 70. So now the HCF, in other words, what would be the length of that specific step that can help us exactly reach 74 and 20. So now the difference, the gap here is 40 and 20. So we now want a number which perfectly divides 20, which can help us reach 20 and 14. So this 20 would now become our A this 20 would become our A and this 14 would become our B. And now again, let's apply Euclid's division lemma until we have the remainder as zero. So again, how many steps of 14 should we take in order to reach 20? So 14 ones are 14, 14 twos are 28. So let's take only one step. So we are at 14. And then if we would add six more units to it, we would reach 20. So now we have reduced the gap to 6 and 14. So still we don't have remainder as 0. So we would continue this Euclid's division lemma now for 14 and 6. So 14 would be our A now and 6 would be our B. So 6 ones are 6, 6 twos are 12, 6 threes are 18. So let's take two steps, 6 units long. This would help us reach 12 plus of so now we would reach 14. Still the remainder is not zero. So we would continue this process. So now this six would become our A and this remainder two would become our B. So now two times three would exactly land up at six and the remainder here is zero now. So this two, this two, the divisor of the last step, the divisor divisor of last of the last step would be our HCF of given two numbers 74 and 20. To verify this, let's actually find HCF quickly through prime factorization. So 74, what would be the factors? 1, 2. Now 2 37s are 74, so 2 and 37 both would be the factors. Will 3, will 3 be the factor? Sum of digits is 11, so 3 won't be the factor. I think that's it. The final factor would be 74 itself. For 20, the factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, no, 10, and 20. So out of these, the common factors are, common factors are 1 and 2. And the highest common factor would be which is what we got here. So Euclid's division lemma gives us a new way actually, a more reasonable way to find HCF of given two numbers. And in the last video we saw why, but this is the process that we follow. Just try to write the given numbers in terms of Euclid's division lemma and keep following that until the remainder that we get for the final step is zero. The moment you get zero remainder, the divisor of that final step would be our HCF, which means if we would take a step that is two units long, we could exactly reach both the numbers, 74 and 20 in our case. I hope this is clear.